it's just there's like nothing to even like talk about. Like I'm not doing Supreme Bitch in a box logo. I'm doing Supreme Bitch like however the fuck else I want. I can put anything else in a box logo, and like that was just some, that's something I'm totally okay with. I wasn't like you know. Um, I thought that was fair, and I you know it's just, it's fine. You're a piece. Yeah. When you look back though, because it's been three years. Do you feel Has like it's been it, three years? Well, 2013. Yeah. It feels like really just like last year, but it's yeah. crazy. Do you feel like it marked anything in streetwear? Yeah. <laughs> how, how so? Big time. Um, well, just the fact that it was like two people in the same like community like battling each other, kind of. Like, not even like I'm putting myself at like Supreme's level, like I'm not, you know? like. They've been around for like 20 something years, and like obviously, like they're a huge company. Um, but, you know, I think it made a lot of people, um, it made a lot of people think. <laughs> it seemed like for me, it was a point where streetwear got a little more I corporate. Think, I think we realized that it wasn't like just like this family anymore. It's right. like, okay, this is like some real shit. Like, this is like, yeah, this is like, yeah, it's, it's corporate. It is. Like, it's people protecting their, you know, what they think is theirs. Like, this is mine, you know, and it, it's okay. I mean, because that, I mean, what is streetwear really? Like, I, I you know, what, what, <laughs> what makes it? What do you think separates I it never from? even claim to be, you know, like in streetwear, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, I was like, that's, I just knew people who owned stores and that's where I was going to sell my stuff. And then it became streetwear. Like, I don't, you know, I'm not sure. Like, I still see Mob as like, um, I see Mob as being able to branch out beyond streetwear because it's female. And it's like, you know, there's just female streetwear, like, to me, doesn't exist in a way. It's just, very rare. It's small. It's like a small following. It's not like, you know. And in a, and it's not supported in the same way as men's streetwear either. I mean, men's streetwear is like just falling apart anyway. So okay. I'm better off. With that, just honing in on your brand a little bit, I think one of the things it's best known for is bitchism. Oh, um, cool. I think so. Okay. Can you talk about the, your the, your most famous bitchism to me? And the one that I see copied the most is "Men are the new women." You know, so I didn't come up with that mm. um, saying. Tabitha's mom did. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, but for me, well, what? Why she said it? We were at I think uh, Heatherette like fashion show. Me, Tabitha, and Cece, and this like drag queen or something like I can't remember like this like socialite drag queen guy um he was getting his picture taken and I think Cece thought like they wanted a picture of her and then he was like no 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 it's me you know what I mean or something like that and she was like oh like men all the new women whatever I just did such a bad French accent but um and I was like holy shit like men are the new women you know but I'm thinking more in terms of like what I deal with from the men in my like community because they're kind of like what girls are typically the, the like um, qualities that women are supposed to have. I feel like the men in like streetwear have gossipy and catty and you know like insecure and this is how the guys are. I mean it's crazy. Do you think the pushback for that though would be oh you're trying to put people in certain categories like men have to behave this way and I'm just saying how it is. I mean, whatever. Where do you think streetwear is right now? It seems like the really hot part of streetwear right now is with this like high-end designer streetwear, like Vet Mons, HBA, Off White. Where do you, what do you, what, like? It seems like the business is moving towards that. Yeah. Um. I don't know about the what is it? Veta what? Vet Mons. How, yeah, do you, how do you pronounce it? I have no idea. Vet like Mons. I don't know. I just know that guy sounds super racist. Like yes, it's he does. crazy. But I know like Europeans like don't get it. Like you know like they don't even mean to be racist. They just like are you know like they don't know any other way. Um, no <laughs> offense, guys. Um, 
Um, Hood by Air, like Off White, you know, I think are great brands, and um, and I think the people that are the designers behind them are awesome people and super smart and creative, and I love what they're doing. Um, it's just a different part of streetwear, you know, but. I mean, that stuff is really expensive. Like, can the average kid, you know what I mean, buy that stuff? You know, there's all different, like, that's not skate at all then. You know what I mean? And then there's, like, skate street stuff, like Diamond and, you know, the Hundreds and Huff and whatever, these, like, huge companies that, you know, there's, those are two different people that are wearing that stuff. Yeah, that's true. And there they're is both considered streetwear? I don't know. I don't, yeah. You know. It seems like definitely we're... The, the category is splitting off into a lot of different things, for right. sure. Um, I want to ask you about somebody who's been in the news a lot lately that's involved with streetwear, Ian Connor. <laughs> he's a streetwear stylist. He was, um, he, he's been accused of raping yeah. a bunch of women. Yeah. Any, any thoughts on him and, and how, not, not as much what he's been accused of too, but that he's been able to maintain a presence in the scene? Um, well, I will say, obviously, like, you know, um, innocent till proven guilty, but at the same time, I don't think that, like, multiple women would, like, make, who wants to have the attention on them saying that they're raped? Like, who, like, rape victims normally like, don't come out, you know what I mean, and say something. It's not something, like, a lot of people want to, like, admit or be in the public eye about, so chances are some gnarly shit went down. You know, if I had to like bet my life on it, like yeah, I would probably like say that the women are telling the truth. I'm like shocked and disgusted that people are still fucking with him right now. Mm -hmm. Like it's crazy to me that he's like was in. What did you say? He's in. I'm not. I don't follow him. I don't follow um, it. Like I don't I mean, know. He and I don't know him, you know, I will say right. I don't know him. Like, I'm not, you know, I have no... But this, the, from what I've read, his tweets are, like, very, like... I don't know if he has a lawyer or not, but I can't believe a lawyer is saying, like, maybe you shouldn't be saying this right now. It's making you look like a rapist that you talk about women like this. You know, like, I don't know. And, and this is my problem with a lot of, like... Um, Millennials and, and the guys in street where the guys like the things I've read about me back in the day when I came out with mob The stuff that men can say about women are fucking scary, you know, and the misogyny and just like It's disgusting. It's like just really gross and I feel like when someone has like influence like Ian Connor um, They're responsible to like Spread some positivity, activity, 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 activity.